Welcome back people, episode 2 Crackdown 1 And I'll just spawn in a sec and explain the weapon differences of course from the first episode um, Okay So, we're back um, First of all, weapon differences um, this weapon here happens to be, and I'll show it off, hang on. Game stops lagging. I changed the quality again, so the lag might be uh, an issue in this episode. This is a homing launcher. I stopped recording last night. Um, I went over to the Shy Gen and um, went and found this gun pretty much instantly, actually. Um, so, I have, um, as you can see on the left hand, so uh, left hand side of my screen, I have upgraded a few of my skills, my strength, my strength skill is now 3, um, my explosive and firearms are up to 2, um, and that's primarily because it makes the job a little bit easier, um, I did explain at the end of the last um, episode that I might do that, um, Bye. And your car. Let's get out of here. Right. Oh. I knew there'd be a pedestrian. How the fuck did that guy survive? There's an explosion right on your face, mate. Anyway, um, I did that purely for... Um, the ability to um, have better, slightly better explosives to turn this car over. Jump in it. Jump in it. Jump in it. Thank you. Let's get out of here. This looks like the Kilos Muertos garage agent. Watch out for armored vehicles. Get in there and really let the air out of their tires. All right. So here we have the next. Um, News from the straight Peace into agent. it. Rafael Chuco Diaz is a renowned and accomplished car thief, joy rider, and getaway driver. His extensive skills and knowledge are literally a driving force for any Los Muertos behind the wheel. Diaz supervises the creation of high-performance vehicles, from the illegal acquisition of the best civilian transportation available to the extensive customization process. His base of operations is a distinctive garage on La Mugre's North Island, where he and his easy riders race on a regular basis. Right. Straight back into it. Um, cut these guys out for a bit. Uh, don't need to actually make any skills, so I'm going to jump back in the car. I'm going to head up to the next uh, supply point, which is over here. Oh, come on, we you? Again, we got lag because I'm um, streaming this uh, through to uh, my computer from the Xbox One, and it's not exactly best. For some reason, it keeps, you know, going funny. Might have something to do with the fact that um, the Xbox One recognises my um, uh, internet connection as strict. I'm not sure uh, on the NAT type, but you know. The distinctive gang markers on your tracker represent key gang members, your primary targets. Bye bye. Whoops. That's where that first rocket was supposed to go, but never mind. So yeah, I went to um the Shy Gen's Island to go get the uh, rocket launcher, and it turns out that I accidentally went to this supply point. As you can see, the one that's highlighted. It's the easiest supply point to get to, um, and I was literally around the corner from there um, when I got the rocket launcher, so I, I went there and force of habit. Good work, agent. I don't usually Another stick around the... Um, captured means more space to store uh, Jesus, stop talking so I can keep what I'm saying. I can't remember what I'm saying otherwise. 
Um, Reclaim the nearby agency supply. Oh, shut up. You'll be able to replenish your ammunition and also use it as a shortcut around the city. Right. So, um, that's why like I never usually stick to just lost Mertos. I actually go to the Volk and the Shrygen. I get all the supply points done first, try and figure out as much about the gang bosses as I can before I actually head into doing any work. So, but I'm recording, so I'm going to do things a bit differently. Um, spoiler alert Choice. for anyone. I like your style. Um, now get out there and make the difference. Shut up! Thank you. That down there is the um, the Kingpin's uh, base for Los Matos. So um, we will hit this last after we've wiped out all the other bosses. Right. So let's head over to this other supply point because we've got one other um, one other person to discover. And also achievements will be disabled for this because I've done this, I've already completed it on this console. I've completed it on my account like 50 times. Um, well, we might still get an achievement for this um, game because the game gives you separate achievements to what um, the Xbox does, so... We'll see what happens. Um, oh, hello. Oh, you want to throw explosives? Okay. How do you like that explosive? They did, no, no, they didn't. I thought they had um, a grenade launcher. But it turns out they were just throwing grenades at me. Yep. So I also have um, a grenade that I got from the uh, from the Shy Gen. It's called a cluster grenade. I'll show you guys what that does in a second. Hang on. Got to get across this valley. And you see the lighthouse in the distance? That's my ultimate target be heading next. Um, okay, here we go. Supply point, but I'm going to find gang members that are usually here so I can show off the cluster grenade. I miss that jump completely. I swear when they remastered this game for um well they didn't actually remaster it as such, but when they put this game backwards compatible they just changed the settings so that the, the guy behind um, that keeps saying voice things just says random things whenever he fucking feels like it. Ah, uh, here we go. Boom. Hello. It does exactly what it says on the packet. It's a cluster grenade. So it explodes and then there's like six other explosions. So you usually have to be careful when you're... Um, you usually have to be careful when you're throwing a grenade in a populated area because you usually blow up every single person within like a, a one block radius or some shit. Well, you will when your explosive skills are a little bit better. Uh, you can't run from... Oh, yes, you can. This should be a cakewalk. Boom. Fresh agency intel for you, agent. Ramon Pistola Gonzalez is a brutal and volatile man with an unnatural love of the gun. He handles his hardware with psychotic affection and lethal efficiency. Gonzalez controls the flow of the Los Muertos cutting-edge munition supply, from frequent deliveries at a secluded North Coast Cove to distribution to ground forces. Right. So, I'm not going to attack him first. We're going to go back to the first boss that was uh, revealed to us, because he's the easiest. We'll do it as the game wants us to. Alright. Bye-bye.
Yeah, you guys can't run from that either. Mind. Open your dossier and take a look at the training videos to see what's in store for you when you advance your skills, Agent. There's a hidden orb over there. This is gonna hurt. Crackdown 2 and Crackdown 3 when you go to your full strength skill. Um, you could uh, press B, um, which is your attack button, um, and you could hover in the air for like a half a second and then just like pound the ground, and you get a, um, a bonus for it. Because right, So we want to go to this one. Let's wipe them out. Explosions! It really was the ultimate, just use whatever means necessary game. And this is what I'm talking about in a previous, uh, previous episode about the targeting system and this being broken. You can sit out of sight and still be targeting you with someone. It's not the only way it's broken. Oh, that's a bad idea. Whoa, okay. That could have ended badly for me. No, I have hit squads. So you know what you're doing. We'll increase the challenge a bit. That's the Volk. And then it's... Okay, so you definitely know what you're doing. You're an expert now. An expert at this game now. So let's give you the hardest game to defend, which is the Shrygen. And I'm talking like... When you hit the Shrygen, almost every second game member has an explosive rocket launcher like this one. No matter how high you can jump, Far away you jump. If they've got a homing launcher, you're screwed. Where are you throwing that grenade, mate?
pretty sure I've killed all the things on this thing. Mm -hmm. He's on that side. Yep, he is. He just blew himself up. Smart move. Oh, somehow that affected me, but okay. Are we ready for this? Let's reload. One more. <laughs> Downloading new agency intel to your personal network agent. With Martinez out of the way, Los Muertos' finances and information flow are severely disrupted. The low-level bangers lack the intelligence and expertise to effectively take his place, making Los Muertos a softer target. Excellent work, Agent. Now explore the city and track down the other key gang members. Eliminate them in any way you see fit. And uh, that's what makes this game I'll keep you really updated good. if peacekeepers secure additional intelligence, but don't count on that. It's up to you to search the city to find the key gang location. Whenever you're in the vicinity of an area dominated by a key gang, all relevant available agency intel will automatically download to your personal network, and a marker will be placed on your HUD. Big shot from somewhere. Somewhere around here. Oh, there, there we go, there's one. A pedestrian is scared that there's bullets flying and is constantly burning its tires by running against the pole. Good job, Agent. Good job running around. I said that last, last episode, you're just like, good job, Agent. And all I'm doing is running around. Use the to yes, the thank you. Agency intel about the gangs and their locations. Right. So, I saw an um, agility orb over here. There it is. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna go this way. Whoa! Okay, occasionally there's that lag. Jeez, it comes and goes a lot. Okay, so the next one. is the nightclub and that's easy vehicle specialist This really won't take long. It's obviously a cover for criminal intent. Get over there and shut that party down. This should be a breeze. 
to buy. Oh, I don't have that much ammo. Alright, so because I'm running low on ammo, mostly explosive. Well, the civilian walked in front of me while I was trying to kick some gang members. Maybe the targeting system was a little bit more, I don't know, refined. I might find that I don't actually shoot any. Like, I don't actually kick the living shit out of any of my kids. Anything that's not gang members. Oh, would you look at that, people? We've got more gang members on the other side of this building. Boom! Go on, this game. Alright, off to business. issue with this game, the enemies just keep spawning sometimes, they spawn from virtually nowhere too, but other than that, there's, okay, there's many issues with this game, but none are, none are game breaking like most games these days, um, there are glitches, but there aren't, like I said, game breaking glitches, you can die by grenade, bitch. Whoa! Where did that guy come from? straight to your personal network agent. You can thank the peacekeepers for this. Jose Guerra's timely demise spells the end of his club and of Los Muertos fertile drugs operation. This represents a serious blow to a loathsome but lucrative trade. So yeah. I did predict that this would go pretty quickly. Not out of anything but practice. The amount, like I said, 
in the last episode, the amount of times I've played and completed this game is just uncountable after a while. security well I'm close to two bosses if I go to social security so yes let's go to social security now of all the skills in this game that I don't actually get even past level one um, driving skill is actually the one that I, I never get past level one um, it takes way too long and it's usually way too complicated Trying to run down uh, enemies with a car is just, it's kind of retarded. And you don't ever, like, once you pass a certain um, agility level, uh, you rarely even drive a car. And it's 90% of three of the bosses so far. That's good to know. Uh, that's. Oh. Well, that trouble. Yeah, why would I want to shoot a burnt out car to the carcass of a car that I just exploded? Hey, like, come on. Ego. He was there and then he wasn't. Complexes are likely to provide strategic advantages for some gang of horses. Vehicles are on the way, Agent. 
Stay alert. Yeah, they're not gonna hit me up here. It's what Intel agent. Really doesn't take long to go through these guys. Be a letter out of the frame. It's not such a pretty picture for Los Muertos. Recruitment is at an all-time low. With less new blood on the streets, the civilians are regaining their confidence. The agency is pleased with your progress. Here are your revised odds against the Kingpin agent. Eighteen point five percent. Significant effect on the numbers of Los Muertos available to guard their kingdom. Don't expect a cakewalk. But don't expect much in the way of Los Muertos reinforcements either. Your projected probability of success with the removal of the Los Muertos kingpin has now increased. Also another problem with the game. You can't jump through a gap. The green beams of light projected onto your HUD are rooftop race markers, Agent. Complete these races to increase your agility. Okay, so we get back to um lag. We go back to um the uh agency supply point. three bosses down and I'm half an hour through this video already right next boss is over here oh shit agency hey, here
miss games like this. There was no add-ons, no no glitches, no no shit to be fixed in next updates. Like the game was complete and ready to play from day one when they released. No issues. Aim at the guy that's in front of me. Aim, come on. saying you agency intel agent Rodrigo Alvarez is dead without Alvarez to push them to their physical limits Los Muertos gang members are unlikely to stay in shape do not allow yourself to become complacent by this news agent Recalculating your chances of successfully removing the kingpin. Toda tuya! It transpires that Alvarez was also responsible for maintaining the fitness of the guards closest to Los Muertos' kingpin. The simple fact is, without Alvarez's influence, the kingpin's guards will not be as robust. Your projected probability of success with the removal of the Los Muertos kingpin has now increased. Grenade to the face. There has been one experience in this game where I have actually um, attacked the kingpin before I've even wiped out one of his guards. One of these guys, like generals, whatever they call them. Super well blind himself up.
Oh shit, I hit a, I hit a pacekeeper. I didn't mean to hit the pacekeeper. Okay. That's that one done too. Okay, so we got a grenade in here, and we have the last three um, enemies to go, so I'm going to go here, and we're going to go take care of the guy in the garage. So normally, I would mess around in that garage over there, driving, you know, I'd use that garage as a way of running over all the um, Los Murtos and, you know, get my driving skill up that way. Unfortunately, oh hey, there's the car that I was driving. Man, I didn't realise it stay there. So use it as a battering ram if we can. Okay, or not. Any more coming? 
coming out of this room, huh? So that was completely accidental. Didn't realise the explosive barrels were right next to me when I blew the, the truck up. New agency intel is downloading straight to your personal network agent. You can thank the peacekeepers for this. Peacekeepers didn't do jack shit. Rafael Diaz is dead. The loss of his exacting standards means Los Muertos' choice of source vehicles is poor and their modification substandard. This is a decisive blow for justice. Good. Updating the odds of you against the Kingpin agent. 55%. Is now concentrating its vehicular resources to maintain basic effectiveness. Surveillance suggests the gang has even moved performance vehicles away from their Kingpin's headquarters, which has literally created a new opening for you to exploit. Your projected probability of success with the removal of the Los Muertos Kingdom has now increased. This should be a cake. So, I need 71%. Let's go. Alright, no messing around on this one. I literally run straight through the middle. Oh shit. Speed running this this enemy. Oh, hello. Oh shit. <sighs> Them and their bloody snipers. Gonzalez is no more, and neither is Los Muertos' advanced firearm speed. The threat of significantly more effective firepower finding its way onto the streets is diminished. A great many lives have been saved today, thanks to you, Agent. Recalculating your chances of successfully eliminating Garcia. 
Agency intel reveals that Gonzalez's death has impaired the availability of extreme firepower at the Kingpin stronghold. Your projected probability of success with the removal of the Los Muertos Kingpin has now increased. Gotta go get Garcia. They even called it Garcia Point. How nice of them. out and reclaim additional agency nodes agent they make moving around the city much easier and faster I'm not even on another freaking island yet you dumbass let me do my job so I've got two choices in entering the bosses like the final bosses um, base I can go in over there with my crosshairs sitting that's an underground passage or I can go straight through the front door I've done it both ways many times. Best way to go is straight through the front door. Downloading new agency intel to your personal network agent. Don Domingo El Brazo Garcia is a tough, intelligent man whose violent temper serves him well as the leader of Los Muertos. In the past decade, he has used raw muscle and capable accomplices to elevate this street gang into the big leagues, making Los Muertos one of Pacific City's three dominant criminal organizations. On his rare visits to the capital, Garcia stays exclusively in his villa, protected by his trusted elite guard unit, Las Sombras. Agent, the indicator on the left-hand side of your HUD shows the development of your core skills. Agility, driving, explosives, strength, and firearms. Go down. Keep this up and the city will be clean in no time. That fortified island is owned by the Los Muertos King. Agency intel confirms there's a secret cave entrance that can be accessed by sea. This should be a breeze, Agent. 69%.
Yes, because I wanted to attack that guy who's like all the way behind the guy who's shooting at me. Top achievement gain, Rainbow. Pretty sure that's uh, kill like 300 enemies or something without dying yourself, I'm not sure. standing behind the guy that's shooting at you, but you can shoot him instead of the guy that's actually shooting at you. Garcia, head of Los Muertos, is dead. Nice work, Agent. Los Muertos is now running riot, out to avenge its loss. It is disorganized, but highly dangerous. Stay alert. It's like a bunch of, um, shotgun noobs in Call of Duty. ...together for a final show of force. Peacekeepers have sighted a riot over by Funland, near the Ferris Wheel. Get over there now and clean up this district once and for all.
final stretch. And then Los Mentos is history. Uh, I hope there's not too many um, civilians around. How did you survive? are buried once and for all. The agency has begun regeneration of La Mugre, cleaning up the filth left by Garcia's scum, and renaming the district Green Bay as a mark of respect to one of the agency's founders. Agent, your initiative and ability are inspirational. Thanks to your deeds, the innocent need no longer live in constant fear of Los Muertos. Righty -o. And with that final laugh from the clown, that brings us to an end of another episode, guys. Um, so, Los Murtos are no more. Um, we'll be on to um, the Volk next. Um, that might take a little bit longer um, than what it did to go through Los Murtos. Yeah, two one hour episodes is kind of quick, actually. Um, and I was messing around for a lot of it in the first episode, so just getting agility orbs and, you know, building my... Oh, how do they need my help? There's no gang here anymore. Um, as I was saying, um, I was, you know, jumping around getting all my agility orbs and everything, building up strength and stuff like that in the first episode. Second episode, clean sweep completely took every single one of them out so um, I was doing you know the first episode was uh, just finishing up um, rendering the first episode of this ready to go up so that'll go up um, after I get out of this game um, and yeah so that has been episode two of Remember, Crackdown One. The taller the um, agency agility supplement appears on your HUD, the more it increases your agility. Like I was saying, um, hope you enjoyed this episode, um, and I'll probably continue playing this after I finish uh, after I cook tea because um, you know haven't eaten yet. So. Um, um, yeah, I will catch you in the next video, everyone. Um, as per usual, I hope you enjoyed because I really enjoyed playing this. So, um, yeah, catch us in the next one.